I've been visiting more people now, now that things are opening up and stuff. And I went to visit one of my friends who I haven't seen since before any of the pandemic. You know, I haven't seen him in a whole year. And he lives with his mom, his dad, his grandma, and his cousin. And it was so good to see all of them hang out a little bit, catch up and stuff. But while I was there, I... Not sure how to. While I was, basically, my boy's grandma got a crush on me, and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> and I heard a couple awes. This is not a Hallmark crush, all right? This woman has carnal intentions towards my body, okay? She's not messing around. Okay, I was, I was, I was hanging out there, and first of all, she wait till everybody leave the room to hit on me. That's how you know she a predator, okay? <laughs> She waits till she can make it, he said, she said, right? So then everybody left the room for a different reason. She got right up on me, just in my face, all over me. And I tried to let her down easy. I tried to make it scientific about the pandemic, you know? I was like, ma'am, ma'am, we should social distance. Because, you know, right now I'm not vaccinated, you're not vaccinated, okay? and you're in a high-risk demographic, I would hate for something to happen to you, all right? That's what I said. And then she went. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I'm high-risk and high-reward. So I just stuck to my buddy like glue. Anywhere he went is where I went in the house. Just, I was, I was right behind him everywhere he went. I just didn't want to be left alone with her again because that means she's aggressive, okay? <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, she old, but I think she faking it. Uh, Cause she's old, but she's fast. Cause we would leave the room and she wouldn't be in the room with us at all. And I would turn around, she'd just be right behind me. I'm like, are you running? How are you doing this? But she was behind me and she pinched my butt. <laughs> and pinching butts is that old lady sexual harassment that nobody cares about, you know? <laughs> Even if I tell people, like, she got me, all right? <laughs> They're like, well, she's 85. You should have been faster, okay? <laughs> Honestly, just move. <laughs> but she did. She pinched my butt and then whispered in my ear, you firm like my mattress. <laughs> it's like, Oh my God, oh my God. I am going to leave. <laughs> and so I left and I don't know how, but she got my number. <laughs> I think she got out of my buddy's phone when he wasn't paying attention. And she has been sending me nonstop thirst traps, okay? <laughs> but they're granny thirst traps, so it's just pictures of food that she cooked. But still, still, there is any window involved, you know? She sent me a picture of a cobbler and then text me under it, I could break you off some if you want to come on through. I was like, I am going to throw my phone in the river. I hate this way more than I love my phone. <laughs>